Hey guys, what is going on? Today we are going to be starting our very own F1 team in Formula 1. Now, if you don't know, I am part of this gaming clan called the Forces of Nature or TFON. Now, we're just a group of friends that like to play together and we decided to form this gaming clan. We have an Instagram and I will link that down below. But anyway, I am going to be making our own Formula One team in the style of TFON and stuff like that. But anyway, let's get into it and I'll show you what this is all about. Okay boss, Carl here. Let's get this team up and running. The first thing we need to do is register a team name and bring in some important partners. Okay, so here we are guys, and we will now, I have created my character previously to save time, but now we will be looking into the team details. First, so this is what, name. if we look at it, a team name. So I already decided this before, I'm going with T, F, O, N, like before, T, F, O, N, G, P. Now, let's choose our primary sponsor or from three. So Some our primary bonus up front. Some offer more weekly income. The better we perform, the more our level will go up as the team gains more acclaim. Doing this will increase the income from our sponsors. Okay, so this decides how much money we're gonna get over the season and how much money we're going to make. So if we look as a team achieve two points finishes during a season okay that seems doable uh what else could we go for okay so this one and 15 constructors we don't get much uh weekly income but we get a lot of goal bonus uh Increase with each team acclaim level. Okay. Uh, right. What else can we do? As a team, achieve five points finishes during the season. We could go that. 25 construction championship points in a season. I think I'm going to go with this Pacifico. Because I believe, as a team, we can get 25 constructed championship points. I think we can get there. Our chassis yeah. won't be going right. anywhere We're going that. without a power unit. So let's sign one of those now. Obviously the Okay, the so now we ability, choose our better, engine. But be careful about spending all our cash. We're going to have people and facilities to invest in as well. Power unit suppliers will also provide upgrades throughout the season at no extra cost. Okay, so if we back out, we have 5.2 million spent, as it says on the right. So I think I am thinking Mercedes is calling to me. You know, if you watch F1 at the moment, that F1, is, uh, well, sorry, Mercedes is an absolutely massive team with an amazing engine. And it's got some good durability, good performance. Uh, Ferrari, I think, is a bit too expensive. It's a whole $700,000 more. It's, if you look at it, it's not really worth it. Performance-wise, yes, probably, but... Durability, not really. I think we can get Mercedes quite high. So we're, we're going to choose team, Mercedes. Let's sign a teammate. And you now we get to choose our teammate. Our team. Oh no! Pick someone you think can get us good results, as long as we can afford them. Oh, and we renew contracts every few races, so you'll have plenty of chances to sign someone else should the need arise. Oh, we have the man, the myth, legend. Mahavir Raganathan. Oh, I don't know. Who do we want? How much do we have left? So we have 1.8 million. Okay, so we could get get quite a lot. Uh, Joe is looking pretty good, I must say. Uh. Or maybe Mick Schumacher, son of Michael Schumacher. He looks pretty good. Same amount of experience. Better racecraft from Joe. Uh, and better awareness as well. 
just one slightly less pace. Yeah, come on, let's go with Guan Yu Zhou. Like we can afford this power unit supplier and teammate. Go ahead and confirm if you're happy. All right, so I think this is us good. TFON GP. Let's, let's confirm. Let's select or edit the livery we'll be running this season. We can add more sponsors to the car as we sign them throughout the year. And don't worry, we can edit our look at any time from HQ. Okay, nice. So if we wanted to change, we can always change it at any time. Now we're looking at our cars. These are my previous, my team in my private other one. This is the design I have made for our team. If you look at our Instagram, this is sort of the design we've had. So currently we have a dark navy sort of colour and then with red but before we had a white and red logo so I decided to go with a dark navy I might change that dark that navy to a bit more darker I don't know I still haven't decided but I still have white and red for the marbling alright so let's let's get this team I might need to change that Pacifica on the side you can't really see it it's white Do you see uh, yeah we can zoom see it's right there but you can't really see it, so I might change that to being black, maybe. Now we need a badge Don't know. for our team branding. Select an existing badge, edit it, or create one from scratch. Oh wow, so we can make our own team badge. Let's create a new one. So I don't really know what I want to do at the background. I might not leave one. But let's see. That might actually be really nice. The T. Uh, we have like a TF1 stands for the forces of nature. So I also kind of want to go for something to do with that on the lines of that. That might be nice for like air and stuff. Uh, what else? That could also probably be like GP. That could also go with it. Uh, there's, there are a lot of good designs here, I must say. Um,. I think I quite like this air one. We could also perhaps go with maybe this one for either waves or maybe even this one for like a mountain and earth. Uh, no, I quite like that air sort of style. I think I'm gonna go with that, and then we can change the style. I think we're going to go with this one. It's almost like it's popping out at you, so I like that. Move back to backgrounds. Oh. That looks perfect, guys. You have to say. Uh, let's keep looking, though. Now, I have to say, I'm pretty sure... Oh, I've gone past it. No. There it is. I like it. I do really like it. Yeah, with that maybe as the background, and then I can change the colour, make it go to dark blue. Yeah, I think that looks really nice, guys. What do you think? Alright, so we're going to pick that for our emblem. Last but not least, we need to pick team colours for the rest of our branding. You'll see these colours throughout HQ. And then finally, our team colours. Okay, so first I am going to say, let's go with the dark navy blue, as that is sort of the way that we're going for. That's purple, I don't want that. Uh, okay, dark and uh, dark. We should go with, yeah, let's go for that. And then we should go for the red and then the white. Right, yeah, let's uh, let's That's go with that. Everything we need. You can go back and edit anything we've done so far, and we'll come back here at the start of each season. But if you're ready to go, hit advance to head to Team HQ, and we can start our push to the top of Formula One. Okay, quickly, guys. I am just going to change a few other things, so like my personal driver things. Cause I only really made him, uh, but I will be uh, back when we get into it all right guys so i've changed a few things around just made the uh, liveries i've gone with that 
like overall kind of design because we are from the UK of course as you could probably tell I am British and I just sort of like how the Union Jack sort of comes into play uh, yeah but anyway let's get into things all right here we are guys oh it looks like we're having an interview okay we're live in five four three Hello folks and welcome to the HQ of Formula One's newest team. We've been invited backstage to gain an exclusive insight into what could be one of the most exciting entries in the sport for many years. Now we've seen a number of new teams enter the sport over the last decade, amongst their number Mana, Caterham, HRT and of course Haas. And while some have proved to be successful, others have morphed into different teams and some have disappeared completely. What marks this team out, though, as being something different is that its owner is also its driver. Now, there's a rich history yes, of I in am. Formula 1 too. Sir Jack Brabham, John Surtees, Graham Hill and Bruce McLaren all drove their own cars in the sport. But it has become increasingly rare in recent years. What's very special about this team, though, is that, that while the team itself is new to Formula 1, so too is its driver and owner. Whatever happens this season, you've already made the history books. Tell me, do you feel up to the mammoth task of both managing and driving for a Formula One team? Hmm, okay. Whatever happens this season, you've already made the history books. Tell me... Right, okay. I won't lie, it's been a lot of work and there's even more to come, but I wouldn't have taken on the task if I didn't believe in myself and my team. Alright, yeah. This isn't just about me, this is about my team, and I'm behind them 100%. Together we are unstoppable. Nothing is, e nothing easy is worth doing. I live for challenges like this. I, I'm going to go with that right one, saying that our team is unstoppable, which we are. Every team needs two drivers, but what was it that drew you to your teammates? We've seen what they can do on paper, and I see a lot of potential in them. Their skill set really suits our team. It was tough to get any driver to sign on to a new team, but I'm glad they took a gamble. It was finding the right fit for our team. They understand that we're new and appreciate the opportunity we're providing. Uh, Yeah, we're going to go for that top one. It sort of, just, sort of boosts the driving morale. No one aims to finish bottom of the table. Who's the team you're aiming to beat? Right, I think we might go for Haas. Yeah. yeah. Let's go for Haas. How are you expecting the car to feel out on track? Making the car as responsive as possible was one of our main goals. It's going to give us the edge going into corners. We focus heavily on maximising our traction out of corners. The chassis balance is incredible. Sim data looks good, but we won't know until we get out on track. Let's go for chassis balance. The other teams now have years of experience, both on and off the track. How are you planning to catch up to them? Right, so we have the power unit. Uh, saying about the ERS system, fuel loads, so that would be durability. Uh, a fresh pair of eyes can find solutions other teams haven't seen, and we found some unique ways of reducing drag. It's going to be tough. We'll have a better picture after the first race. We're going to reduce drag. Overtaking Basically, these of sort of sport. upgrade your car. How have you ensured that your car can take advantage of each opportunity that comes your way? So... Right, we're going to up the power unit there. And finally, which of your new departments are you most proud of? We are going to do our aerodynamic... Well, that's about all we've got time for here. We will see how this fledgling team fares in its first Grand Prix. Alright guys, and we are here. Okay, so we don't we don't have that much money to be honest. Three hundred thousand one thousand resource points. So we have till the twelfth of March till the Australian Grand Prix. But anyway, let's have a look. So we've got an up in the aerodynamic department. I like that and we are going to instantly I want to oh we've actually got really good 
aerodynamics. Really good chassis as well. Oh, we're really good all round. This could be pretty good and really good durability. Okay, this might actually be pretty good. Okay, so we could up a couple of these. I want to get some more rear downforce into the car, I'd say. So this, redesigns of the rear wing main plate results in better efficiency, meaning more downforce can be produced without additional drag. Uh, additional downforce. I think we're going to go for this one. 30% chance of failure, but I think we can do it. We're looking pretty good, actually. I didn't think we were going to go this strong, but it looks pretty good. So we're fourth worst there, fourth worst there, and fifth worst there. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. And fourth best there. So yeah, this is looking pretty good. If we look at the... We're better than Haas, which we said we wanted to be. All right. This is looking actually pretty good. Okay, so we have all the gearbox. We need to be careful of that. That is going to be very annoying. But anyway, let's get into it. Uh, right, so I'm not actually going to do that race in the first race in this video. That will be coming out in a couple of days or maybe even tomorrow. I'm not quite sure. We'll have to see how I do. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Uh, I hope you guys will enjoy it. We will go to the Australian Grand Prix, but we will not start it yet. So we have, so what you do is you fill in all these time with different activities until our car reveal. See, we've got a lot of time on our hands. So, power and durability, air and chassis focus, pre-season advertisement campaign, make ourselves 500,000. Alright, that's quite a lot. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 till the start. Alright, so I actually could only really do one of these. I don't want to do any of these because, although it actually does bring up quite a lot, I, uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure. It brings down a lot also. Uh, it actually might be the best thing to go for though, guys. We'll probably go for aero and chassis focus. Can't do anything there. And then at the end, I would quite like to do that. Boost up our driver. But that might also be good as well. Uh, yeah, I'm going to boost the driver straight away. Get him quite good. Get Joe as a good driver. So I don't really know what these are about. Uh, yeah. As you can see, if we go to driver market, you see all the different people. We got, of course, the world championship at the moment leader, Lewis Hamilton. We got Vettel. We got all of the ones from this year. And then we have, of course, all of these. Of course, Nicholas Latifi there at Williams. But anyway, if we look at all oh, contracts, he's 64 rating, so he's all right. Uh, I'm actually going to quickly... I'm gonna buy this with what I have. I'll have like 70,000, it's not gonna be much, but it should get us going. Okay guys, so we will quickly skip through to this. We will go to the car reveal where our brand new car will be unveiled. there it is if you guys had noticed i have picked the number 15 because i've sort of done a little bit tricky here it's a bit confusing but i can i quite like it so what i did was i turned i turned the t f o n into their own private numbers whilst we will also see our different facilities there uh and so the t and the f so that t is 20 f is 6 this is in alphabetical order, and so I took 20 minus 6, which is, of course, 14. And then N, I know is... I've done this wrong. Bear with me, guys. It's... 
Right, if you, like they said, you could change anything whenever you want. You can actually go to character. It's supposed to be 13. Because N is, I believe... I don't actually know. I'm pretty sure it is, like, 15 and 16, maybe? Or... No, 14 and 15. So it should be 13. It's one or the other, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It should be 13. The driver number, we're going to make it 13. Nope, we want to confirm character. Come out. Uh, there. Well, that's given me a chance to show you the customization. But anyway, all we should get, hopefully, the rear wing plate on the day if it doesn't fail. Come on. Here we go, guys. Come on. No! We did not get the upgrade, annoyingly, but hopefully. So that will be a 0% chance and we can get it before Bahrain. Alright, and we are ready to go to Australia. Right, well anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed. And yeah, I please drop a like down below. Comment what you guys think. Uh, and if you will carry on watching this, I hope you will. Because I'm making this for you guys. And... Yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I shall see you guys later. Oh, don't forget to please like and subscribe. I already said like, but oh well, just subscribe. Alright, see you guys.